Hey friends and family, today is my 40th week of pregnancy. As many of you know, I'm expecting and now it's literally any day that I could become a mommy. Uh, people fool you into thinking that pregnancy is 9 months, but it's actually 10 months. And um, it's been quite a roller coaster, you guys. It's been emotionally, it's been a roller coaster. That's all <laughs> I can say and I have time to say. Um, I don't think people talk about the other side of pregnancy, not just the decoration and the excitement. I mean, it's been really scary, to be honest with you, and I'm so glad I've had a tremendous amount of support, uh, and I'm just so ready to meet my little guy now. He is uh, going to be the most life-changing experience of my life, I know, and I wanted to capture my impressions before and then come back and after to see how it's kind of changed me because even though I am a caring person and I do consider myself loving, I am not that vulnerable. I am vulnerable to a certain degree, but seeing this little person holding him in my arms, I know it's going to absolutely melt me. And um, I, I think it's going to be awesome, to be honest with you. I'm really ready. I feel like I'm an astronaut that has been in preparation for a space mission, a life-changing space mission. And I've received all the training, tips, education that I can, and now I'm just ready to live it. I'm ready to experience it. Why am I recording this message? Because I'm going on retreat for the next month, a month and a half. I am not going to be doing this a lot. I'll probably be very deep into motherhood. And I really wanted to record some things that were really important for me throughout uh, 2013. I learned a lot about how plans don't always work. I had, uh, my fiance and I had plans to move to Australia. I had a visa, a work-life visa in hand, and two days later I found out I was pregnant. That was the first big curveball curve ball that we received, a very welcome curveball, obviously. But nonetheless, a huge surprise. And then after that, uh, we got tested in ways that I don't have time to describe, but I really want to tell you that if you're I have so much more compassion for anyone that's going through a difficult time because for three months we experienced some severe health challenges. Um, I, it started with me and then it was my, uh, my partner in life, my fiance, and for three months we had no idea what was going to happen one day from the next and I had no idea where this was on my vision board because it was not where to be found that I was supposed to go through all this uncertainty all these difficulties and making so many difficult decisions such as leaving my job. I had already resigned from my job when he fell ill and um, I didn't know what to do. I mean I got, I had the opportunity to stay and hang to the safety of, of my job because now he wasn't available. I didn't know what arrangements I was going to make for, for health care, for, for money, for survival. And uh, it was really, really difficult, and I was going through the hormonal changes of pregnancy. So I don't want to make a story into a sad one or a victim one because I'm glad to be on the other side of it. But I just want you to know that plans, the way you get to a destination, can change and will change. And that's what I've learned is how to remain flexible and how to adapt to the curveballs that life will throw at you and how to stay positive, optimistic, and how to stay strong in your faith. Those are things that I advocate and that were tested. I um, cried, I bawled, I protested. <laughs> I was on my knees for a long time this year and uh, I'm so glad that I'm on the other side of the story, that I'm on the other side, that I'm here to tell you how things have turned out. We're extremely healthy. Uh, I had just the most incredible pregnancy. I'm glad that I was able to follow my dreams and follow my passion, which is to help others follow their dreams and their passions and have concrete plans for them, just like I did, um, because it made it a lot easier, a lot less scarier, because I was already, I already had um, some things kind of planned, right? Obviously, they had to change, but but I had a strategy, and that made it easier. Otherwise, I would have probably never quit. Um, but anyway. If you're going through something difficult, there's no fast forward button. You have to sit through it. You have to sit through the pain and the uncertainty and know that it's happening for a reason. And to be honest with you, if I didn't have such a huge purpose for making a difference and knowing that if that's what I was born to do, somehow this difficulty was going to serve me some way, 
Uh, if I didn't have that purpose and if I didn't know that things do happen for a reason, I don't know what, what else would have gotten me through. But I'm very thankful to all my friends and family that helped, that prayed, that were there to support us. And I'm very proud of the decisions I made. Even though I could have stayed, I decided to follow my heart and listen to my heart and leave the job and and start my own adventure. And it's been the best thing for my family and the best thing for me and for my pregnancy. Um, and I'm just very proud and I'm here to tell you that yes, it is scary to follow your dreams, to follow your bliss, uh, to decide to commit to something uh, because life, when you do that, it's almost like life will come right back at you sometimes uh, and you will get tested. But if you're able to stick to it, oh my goodness, the benefits that you will reap and the satisfaction the peace that you'll experience will definitely make you feel like you're living life to the fullest. So what have I gained through 2013? A great deal of confidence. I feel very confident that that's why I've been training, that's why I've been practicing, that's what I preach. Um, that I've been able to live my talk, walk my talk. I feel very conf much more confident now. Um, for having able to overcome all the adversity, the uncertainty that I went through. And I feel so confident in my body now because I cannot believe the miracle that a body can recreate another human being. That within me at the moment there are two uh, livers for kidneys, two hearts, two brains, I mean, two sets of organs. I mean, I don't know, it's just, I won't believe it till I see it, but it's been a very surreal experience. And uh, one that I'm very, very eager to to live. So thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for all your support. Um, if you go to the testimonials page on maduinc.com, you'll see why I do what I do, why I've quit my job to do what I do, why I love pretty much uh, the career I've chosen for now. And uh, that's just a small proof of um, of the testimonials and of the breakthroughs and transformation that I've been able to facilitate this summer. I'm a little winded, obviously I'm tired, and uh, so thanks so much for watching all the way through the end. It's a long message, but you're not going to hear from me for a while. So enjoy. I um, hope that I've been able to serve you, to, to be of value to you with through my daily communications and through videos. And if I could ask for a huge last favor is to go sign up for events and updates on maduink.com because I will be updating that with... Uh, workshops that I'm going to be doing online, in person, that are going to be rolling out in December and January. So thank you so much, and God bless, and wish me luck, and I cannot wait to introduce you to Matthias Bosch. Mwah.